All right, so let's do some exercises with this objective, being able to find zeros of a polynomial function. And in, in the, each of these cases, we're assuming that we already have one of the zeros. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to divide that out by synthetic division, factor everything else that's left over. Okay, so factor each of the following polynomials completely, given that x minus 4 is a factor, and then find the rest of the zeros. So, pen. Um, x minus 4 is a factor, so what I'm going to divide by is actually a positive 4. That's going to go outside of the division box. 4, open up the division box. Am I missing anything? Ooh, I think this is a typo. I think that should be an x squared there, because why would there be a negative 6x and a 5x? No clue. No idea. Anyway, so if that one is a squared, then I'm not missing anything. 1, negative 6, 5, and a 12. Bring down the 1, multiply, I get 4, add negative 2, multiply negative 8, looks like this is going to work, uh, negative 3, multiply, and I get uh, 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 negative 12, remainder of 0. Okay, that's what we should have expected if x minus 4 was a factor. That is the factor theorem. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this one as x squared minus 2x minus 3. That's the answer. Now we need to factor that thing. This one should be fairly simple. x times x is going to give us x squared. They need to multiply up to negative 3, add up to negative 2. There's only one possibility here, negative 3 plus 1. Okay, so my original function factors like this. f of x equals the original factor that we were given, x minus 4, and then the rest of them, uh, x minus 3, and then x plus 1. So here it is all factored out. And then finally, this, the last part of this is to find all the rest of the zeros. There should be three of them here, one for each of these parentheses. So the zeros, x equals 4 from the first one, 3 from the second one, and negative 1 for the last one. All right, there we go. Take a look at that number 2. I want you to try that one all on your lonesome. Pause that video. How about this? Okay, so we divide out synthetically the 4. You can see the remainder is 0, so we did our work right. It did go in evenly. And then you go and you factor x squared plus 3x minus 10 and it factors as x plus 5, x minus 2. So now we have all of our factors, put them all together to read, rewrite our uh, polynomial in uh, factored form, and then change the signs for all these. And, and now, notice that I didn't put them in any particular order because I don't even care. I just want the answers, whatever the answers are. Okay. So let's try this again. The problem is going to look a little bit different, but if you know what the factor theorem is saying, it should be a piece of cake. Okay. So find the other zeros of f of x, given that f of negative 2 is equal to 0. This means, by the factor theorem, that x, this lies to you, plus 2 is a factor. So, oh, really? Hmm. Um, yeah, so tell me this. Am I going to divide this synthetically by negative 2? Or am I going to divide it by positive 2? It's the negative 2. So negative 2, because if this is the factor, I'd change the sign. If I'm just synthetically substituting in negative 2, I don't change the sign. So negative 2 outside the box. Inside, I've got nothing missing. A 1, a 2, a negative 9, negative 18. I have no idea why that box is so big. 1, negative 2, bring that, oh, 0. 0, negative 9, multiply positive 18, there's a 0. Rewriting this one is x squared minus 9. Hey, I can easily factor that. That's the difference of two squares. x plus 3, x minus 3. Here we go. So our whole function is f of x is equal to x plus 2 for the first factor, the one I was given, and then x plus 3, x, well, that's parentheses, x minus 3. So our uh, actual zeros then, x is equal to a negative 2 from the first one, and then from the other two is just plus or minus 3. 
Hey, number two is all yours. Pause. And then there's this. Is that what you got? So uh, synthetically dividing by the negative two, and I get uh, x squared plus 6x minus 7 left over. Factor that. That one's not too much trouble. Rewrite all my factors together, and then change all the signs to get all of the zeros. So there you go. There's some exercise or some practice on using the factor theorem, that if you have a factor, then whatever that, um, that x value is, whenever you plug it in to your equation, you're going to get 0 as your answer. It's a 0. Okay. It's an x-intercept. And um, whenever I divide that one out synthetically, whatever is left over, maybe it's a quadratic, then I'm just going to factor whatever's left over. So again, key question here is, what if I'm not given that factor? Where do I even start? So stay tuned for Objective 2.